Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? We hope our internet holds up. <laughs> We're having some technical difficulties, y'all. Yes, I hope that it holds up. Do us a favor, guys. Share, share, share our video. I am here with Yvette, guys, attorney at law, Hi. Yvette Salinas. My name is Brenda Ons, and I am the creator of the group. Uh, together, we are bringing you guys a series um, called Business 101. So we're kind of excited about today's topic. You want to tell them a little bit about today our topic? Today we're going to be talking about DBAs. Um, and what is a DBA? So doing business as, right? That's what we're going to get into. Everybody needs to know if you're going to start a business. This is like kind of basic foundational thing. That's right. So if you guys are ready to start a business, but you don't know where to start, yeah. what I did is I just called attorney at law, you bet. <laughs> she called me. Hey, I need your help. What do I do? <laughs> That's right. But you know what? I am loving that Yvette is, you know, on our series. She agreed to do this for us yeah. and she agreed to do it absolutely free. Thanks. Right. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks so much. Um, we, I know we have a ton of business women um, within this group and uh, you guys are rocking it. Thank you so much for coming in every day. Thank you so much for, you know, inviting your friends and family. Uh, we have, I think our group has been uh, up for what, maybe about three, three weeks. weeks. Something like three that. Three weeks and we have almost 5,000 members. Woo! Yay. Yeah, so and you guys really have been really excited. active, so it's amazing. You guys have been very positive and encouraging to one another, and we want to encourage you guys to continue to do that. <laughs> That's right. Again, hey, keep inviting your friends and family. We have so much uh, throughout this year that we are going to offer to you guys. Um, and stuff like this where we may be, you know, bringing in who knows who we're going to bring in that wants to, you know, go ahead and uh, help us out giving us some valuable information um, that we need to help grow our business though this group is yes about you know business women but it's also about stay-at-home moms right. and you know it's women empowerment to just help support each other so um, yeah. again thank you so much for being in our group we think you guys are awesome and thank you so much for also being yeah, an admin course. in this group <laughs> yeah it's a balancing act <laughs> I try you guys will see me like active really late at night because that's usually when I'm done with my business day. I'm like, okay, let me go in and like check what in on everybody. Now? I'm trying yeah, to let me work. go see what's going on. She's uh, in court and I'm like, are you in court? I know. I'm between meetings. I'm like, okay, I get notifications. Let me see what I can do. All right, guys. So again, we are going to be talking about um, DBAs. And mm -hmm. if you can just tell us if someone that is starting their business, why is a DBA so important? Okay. First of all, I do have to put a disclaimer because um, I am an attorney, right? So I have to put it out there that none of the information that I'm providing to you is legal advice it is just informational so there is no like creation of attorney client um relationship for any of that so start with go. a disclaimer just because i have to <laughs> so you guys know this is not legal advice it's just information for you um so as far as the dba um people don't know what does that mean right dba means doing business as or it's also called an assumed name right and that's usually primarily used for sole proprietorship. So for individuals who are starting their own company who don't necessarily want to go the LLC route yet or partnership route, it's just um, basically usually when it's one person starting their own business, uh, but they obviously aren't going to use the business under their name. Right. Okay. So why is it, uh, let's see, what should you do to begin the DBA process? So it's going to be a little bit different from county to county. We're here okay. in Bear County, right? So mm -hmm. um, it's going to vary from state to state, right? I know that we now have women from all over, right? So I don't want you to think that what I'm providing is necessarily across the board. You do want to check with your specific county that you're in. But here in Bear County, um, the process is relatively easy. Um, so the easiest the way to go about it is, first of all, you're going to have to check to make sure that you check the database, right? Okay. Um, at, so where do you So there's two ways database. you can do it. You can go down to the courthouse, what? the Paula Elizondo um, Tower, and you can check the county clerk's records to make sure that the name that you want to use is not already being used, right? Because that's also another reason why you do this, to make sure that nobody is using the name that you want to use. Uh, the other way is you can do it on, online. So if you go to the Bear County, oh, convenient. if you go to the Bear County website, um, it's bear.tx.publicsearch.us. 
you can actually search there for other business names to see that yours is not being taken. So that is step one. You have to, have to, have to do that before you even just jump into it. You can't assume that your name isn't being used, so right? So we can do this online or we or can do person. this in person. Correct. And either way, we are able to search the database for the name that um, the person wants to use for their business. Right. So when I started my business, um, I first started as a sole proprietorship. And so I did a DBA for the law office. Obviously, my name is included in the business, but my business is a law office, right? It's a service, it's a specialty. So I had to do it as the law office of Yvette M. Salinas. There wasn't anybody else with that name, but I still did a search to make sure that there wasn't another attorney with the same name as mine. So if I needed to kind of, you know, add an initial or whatever needed to be done, I could do that. So by getting our DBA, is that going to break the bank? I mean, no. uh, there's a lot of people just starting off their business. And uh, so they, you know, Hi, it, Delma. It's, it's kind of, you know, hard because at the same time, we're like, we want to start our business. This is just going to cost like all kinds of money. And this is just another thing that we have to get. And actually, it's the very, very it's first actually, thing that we need to get. Yeah, it's very, very important. Um, DBAs are important because of the fact that it basically also saves your, your name, right? So that nobody else can use that business name. And if you really wanted it to be like a nationwide thing, there's also a federal database that you can also register with to make sure that nobody else uses it federally. For the most part, people only need it statewide because a lot of people are going to have similar names, right? Um, but it is important to get done so that you have something also set up for marketing, right? If you want to market your company, this is what you use. Um, to establish bank accounts, a lot of times they need you to have some type of sole proprietorship set up to do a business account, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they need that set up. So this is the very, very basic minimum step that I recommend people do just to make sure that your business is kind of protected. Um, and we didn't finish going through the steps of how you get the DBA here in Bear County. I know we talked about what the first step was to do, but once you've done your title search to make sure that your name is not used, then at that point, okay, your name's not you're not your name's not currently used. Then you can either go down to the clerk's office and mm -hmm. pick up the form mm -hmm. to do your DBA, like what it's going to be, who's going to be the registered agent, the address, all the information that you need, right? Or you can download it online. Again, same website, they have it, you'll fill it out. After that, you need to take the form to be notarized. It needs to be formally notarized in front of a proper notary for it to be deemed proper, right? If you don't want to find one or don't know how to find one, because I know a lot of people are like, I don't know where to find a notary. They have one down at the Bear County Clerk's Office. Well, that's a lot convenient. of times it's just, I did it with mine. I was like, I'm not going to mess with it. I have to go register it down there anyway. I'm just going to pay the clerk to go ahead and notarize my paperwork. It's very convenient. They have a little window where there's a notary. They sign your paperwork. It's official. And then you can go right around the corner to then record your actual assumed name right super easy that is super easy so then <coughs> excuse me what is the cost so again it's going to be different depending on where you go right but here in bear county the filing fee is 14 dollars. Mm -hmm. super cheap guys you spend that more than super cheap. you spend more than that on a I meal just, that's what lunch. i wanted you guys to hear it's super yeah. cheap at the end of the super, day super cheap <coughs> um if you want to get remember they're going to keep the original so if you want a regular copy, it's $2. If you want a certified copy, it's 7 So you're looking at to get your DBA, even if you got a certified copy, $32 around like that maybe? Like right. not even 20 20 20 something dollars yeah 20 something dollars it's not that bad at <laughs> all guys you spend more than that going out to eat and this would establish your business um on the right footing that is wonderful. And you know what? Like I said, I've been talking to so many of you guys and uh, you guys are the ones that ask, hey, can we have a show on DBA? We're thinking of opening, you know, uh, whatever business uh, boutique, that was. Um, yeah. A lot of you, uh, and again, a lot of our stay-at-home moms are doing a lot of stuff like on Etsy and they're creating their own oh, thing, right. whether it's like t-shirts or soaps or, you know, lotions. Whatever we got really creative be. during COVID, didn't we? Yeah. We're like, what? We're stuck home. We're going to open a what business. What are we going to make? What are we going to do? <laughs> but even the stay-at-home moms who are doing like businesses on the side, this is something you also need to think about because you want to make sure that you are also um, protecting your business and establishing yourself on a good footing. 
Right. So, um, so we've talked about the costs. We've talked about what it was going to take. You know, uh, this is something that you guys can do online or it's something that you can go do in person. And, um, it really is minimal costs, uh, but it's to definitely secure your name. And this is why it's really, really important that you go down there, especially if you're, um, you know, if you're very serious yeah. about this business and you know that. <laughs> She's an empanada. I love that. Ooh, yeah. um, we can send some our way. We'd like to try them. <laughs> You, you stopped the show with I that. Know, right? I don't do that. I was like, what? <laughs> we see some, yeah, stuff coming, coming in. Comments are coming and in that's the lady. only thing you got out of it, huh? I know. <laughs> Hey, well, thanks so much uh, for coming in. Uh, yeah, we do see yeah, your comments. We're watching you guys your comments as they come in. Awesome. The cookies and empanadas got me, though. I got distracted. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, my God. That's too the, funny. The thing you guys need to remember, too, is I know people kind of are like, well, what are you, why do I need to do the DBA? What is it? You know, how long is it good for? When you do a DBA, it's good for 10 years. You don't have to renew it for 10 years. So once you right. do it, you're good. You're good for a 10-year period. Your name is, is taken care of. Your business is taken care of. Um so it's kind of, you know, a no brainer. You should just take care of it. Now, what if you have a business partner? Okay. So you can do a DBA, right? Um, but that's when you need to start thinking if you're going to do some type of partnership, if you're going to do some type of LLC. And we are going to have segments on that a little bit later on. But it is something series. that we can uh, consider. Yeah. And the thing with DBAs is um, Another reason it's a good thing to do is because say you're going to start an LLC, for example. Okay. So myself um, or Brenda, like Brenda has her LLC. If she decides she wants to branch off and do another company, right? For example, let's say a landscaping company. There's a landscaping company. That's their LLC. But then they want to do another business that's focused just on cutting the grass or just on dealing with tree trimming. They won't have to create an individual LLC for those individual businesses. They can have DBAs underneath the branch of the LLC. So it's another Great way information to have multiple businesses, protect the name, but not have to get into the huge expense that often hey, comes Nina. with creating individual LLCs. Right. Well, that sounds amazing. Now, I keep looking to the side because that's where my notes are. I'm just like, full of notes right here. But what I wanted to ask is, what if you want to stop using your DBA? What do you need to do? Okay, so there is a thing that you need to fill out. It's called an assumed name abandonment. And the reason mm. that you want to do that is because, again, remember, everybody has to check the database. If you're no longer going to do use that business name, you're done with it. You're just, you know, not going to ever reassume it and it's prior to that 10 year period, you should do that. So that way in case somebody else needs that name, they can do that. And then also it just kind of closes out all the loose ends for your business. Okay, that sounds great. Now Lydia has a question for us and because it's regarding DBA, we wanna go ahead and answer that. Um, if you have an LLC, do you need a DBA too? You don't, um, you don't need both. Uh, a lot of people start with the DBA and then they get the LLC. So you don't need both. Um, I often recommend it only because the LLC is for the state. So when you register for an LLC, you register with the Secretary of State of Texas, right? Where the DBA is registered in your county, right? So you, if you want that extra protection and knowing that nobody else is going to use your business name, then I always recommend that you do the DBA as well as the LLC. So that way, at least locally, you know it's not being used. Yeah, especially that it is in your own city. So that yeah, exactly. you for sure. So if you guys are just coming in, we're really excited here to have our lives. Uh, this is a series. It's Business 101. Yeah. Um, first, uh, segment. Yeah, first segment. Yeah, our right? first segment. <laughs> I'm super excited about that. The first of many. <laughs> and if you just do us a favor and share, share, share. Um, you know, we don't mind that this information gets, you know, shared on your personal page to yes, help anybody else. We're all about you know women empowerment but hey if a man sees this hey, yeah we're good. <laughs> that's true right we're good so you can go ahead and share this on your feed so definitely for at least the next three or four months you know um attorney at law yvette here and myself we are going to be coming out alive or we're going to try to yeah and of course guys
guys, just remember the schedule may change depending on both of our schedules. Um, right now, court's still kind of via Zoom, not in person. If that changes, my schedule could potentially change. And, you know, if the judge says I have to be in court, <laughs> I have to be in I'm court. Be like, so you got to be, be like, like, what do you mean you, you can't come? Uh, the judge said I have to be there. <laughs> so it may fluctuate. But the, the wonderful thing about this is that whenever we do get to it, the video will be there for you Hi, to Cindy. see. Um, so that way, if you aren't able to see it live, it'll still be there for you to see later. You can share it. Like we said, please share it. The information is important to get out there to people. That's right. So um, we plan, if it all works well, we uh, plan to come out every Wednesday from 1 to 1.30. Right. But, you know, Yvette has a to, I have an she appointment. Has an appointment. So then we went ahead and, um, but we're trying to give you guys some kind of notice. As soon as she lets me know, then I'll come into this group and then I'll let you guys know, hey, um, you know, today it was going to be from 11 to 11.30. But we'll always keep our, um, you know, this particular show um, pinned on the top so that you guys can come in at any time to watch it. But um, again, or if you come in, I know that we have somebody here saying, Cindy, that hey Cindy, how Hi, you Cindy, doing? How Hi are Elizabeth. You? So um, I actually went to uh, middle school with Cindy. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so, so she, known her she for just, a long day. I love that. So she's saying, hey, I just came in, you know, to pop in. You're yeah. on break. So uh, just like Cindy, she's on break. She's in a hurry. Yeah. Uh, that's why I would press the share button so that you guys can just see it at a later time yeah. that you guys are available. Hi Elizabeth. We are going to be talking about LLCs. <laughs> like we said, we're doing this on a weekly basis. Basis. So LLCs is going to be its own segment because it is a it's lot of, a, it's it's a lot of, of information. information. We're trying to break it up so that it doesn't overwhelm you because it, it can be very overwhelming. And not only that, we want to make the segment short enough that you can watch it. We know a lot of you have, you know, responsibilities, you have work, you have kids, you have other things you need to be running around and doing. So if we keep them short, we figure you can listen at the end of the day, you can listen on your lunch break, you can listen, you know, while you're driving Whatever the case may be, we don't want it to be just an overwhelming amount of information all at once. And we're trying to make our lives, um, you know, 30 minutes <clears throat> so right. that, uh, you know, I, I know I would love to do an hour show. We could cover just so much more, but we know that you guys are, you know, in a hurry. So we're trying to do smaller segments right. uh, so that you guys can just like kind of get through it. But we do have one more question uh, regarding the, the DBA and it is, can you amend and assume? name certificate so the dba is also known as an assumed name certificate right you cannot amend it so the Good biggest biggest know. biggest thing to know about when you fill out your dba assumed name certificate you have to make sure everything on that document is true and correct to the best of your knowledge because you cannot go back and amend it it's not one of those things that you can say okay let me just go file an amendment and now i'm going to change my address now i'm going to change you know, the name, I'm going to add a word. No, you'd have to completely do the whole thing all over again. So it's very, very, very I'm important like, oh, that no. you look over <laughs> that document and make sure it's correct. Even with my own, uh -huh. when I did it, I was super nervous. Mind you, this was, I was just fresh out of law school, newly um, licensed attorney. And so I was, you know, I decided I was going to take a leap and not, <laughs> not work for a large firm. And I said, no, I'm not going to work for anybody. I'm going to start my own business. Okay. Not knowing what I was going to do, but I was going to figure it out. And I looked over my form. God, I must have looked over it 10 times. I was like, is my name spelled correctly? So did I did I forget a letter? I'm, I've been spelling my name my whole life, but it was still like just nerve wracking, making sure everything was correct. So Girl, you want to make I sure everything is correct. Exact thing. <laughs> Shoot, I even went outside again yeah. and I was just like, Let me, I just got to make it sure. Did I do it right? Sure. Yeah. So, so then you really do need to be correct. Yes, you want to, because if not, then you have to go through the process again, right? It's not a matter of, let me just go in and correct it. No, you'd have to do the whole thing all over again. So just make sure it's filled out the first time properly. And it happens. Sometimes we're in a hurry and we're just, oh, okay. And then you realize later, oh man, I left off a word or I forgot like, you know, Boulevard on the address. Um, and while that's not like major, it's still not something you can go in and change. Okay, good. Good to know. <laughs> that made me nervous. I, know, I, was, I was like, like oh. you better get it right the first time. Oh my we goodness. Left, we left the nerve wracking question for the last one. Yeah. I noticed that. She got the everything together for me and I was like, oh yeah, we're going to leave that yeah. one for like last. We don't want you guys to get all nervous. Right. But um, you know what? Um, 
this is how quick our show is going to mm -hmm. go, guys. We just want to make it um, actually 20 to 30 minutes right. so that you guys can just kind of get through this. So this live is going to be up for months and months. Yeah. So, so I guess as they come in, you can always tag Yvette. Yeah, if you have questions, make live. sure you, you just, you know, tag me with the question. Um, we're opening Regarding it up, the topic, yeah, whatever the topic DBA. is. So right now we're going to open it up for questions. So I know there's a couple people on here right now. If anybody in the live right now has a specific question regarding the topic that just we went over, which is a DBA, please feel free to like send it in the comment right now so we can answer before we get off. Um, I'd like to answer your question live and in real time if possible. Uh, that, so that, that way I'm great. not backtracking later on. Um, but if you do have, you know, something that you need legal assistance with. My information is everywhere on the page, but- So go you, ahead and let us know. But though. let me go ahead and give you it. So my office number is 210-415-4917. Mm -hmm. You can call that line if you need um, to get information to set up a consult, um, to come in about estate planning, probate, pretty much the stuff that I handle, that's primary. I do some deed transfers, some property stuff. But you can always call me, and if it's not something that I can assist you with, chances are I probably have a colleague who handles it that I can refer you out to, right? Um, it's always better to contact me so that I can point you in the right direction if I'm unable to do it. Uh, the other way that you can contact me is through my website. There's actually a contact form where you can send, fill out the information, type in a little email, it'll send it directly to me. And so my website is Yvette, Y-V-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Salinas, S-A-L-I-N-A-S, law, L-A-W, dot com. Okay, and we'll go ahead and get her information, right. and, and we'll go ahead and we'll put that Provide above, you again. and we'll go ahead and put that under comments. Now, I know that some of you guys were asking question. for um, uh, Living Will and um, LLC, uh, so just know that we are going to cover this in uh, different segments, Right. Uh, and what we're going to do is, um, since now we do know the days and the topic for our series, I'm going to get that, and yeah. we will, you know, put that above so especially if you want to hear about something specifically to what we're talking to then you guys need to make sure you know to save the date save the time so that you guys can come in on that show where uh, depending on the topic we will be answering uh, those questions for right, you right right um, Delma, I can get in contact you with, with you more about living well. That's actually my best friend's mom. Okay, nice. <laughs> so she has direct nice. contact to me. Hey, it's who you know, know. Let me tell you. But the thing is, um, that's that is though something. Yeah, that no, we, it's important. I mean, we um, are going to talk about, especially very, very at important. this time of COVID. Yeah. Um, uh, people really do need to know more about living well and make sure that that gets done. Yeah. And uh, like I said, we were talking DBA, and the next step really is you know um, getting your LLC so that is also really important mm -hmm. as well as many other topics that we definitely want to talk to you guys about yeah so since we have you and we have a little bit of time left just to kind of go over a little bit more of the topics that we are planning on covering we're gonna talk about LLCs we're gonna talk about partnerships we're gonna talk about um, potentially like social media and and marketing and why that is important in basically getting your name out there if you do have a business and why social media can like make or break you now. Mm -hmm. um, that's important. We obviously are gonna talk about last will and testament, power of attorney, advanced directives, um, probate, because I handle probate and a lot of people I've found don't know what probate means. So uh, I do wanna explain that to you guys because it is important and it is something that not a lot of people really understand uh, the process. So that is something that we also going to talk about. And it may not necessarily be business related, but it is important to consider if you do have a business, because what happens if something happens to you, then who's going to handle your business affairs? So it kind of all does tie into each other. Well, and we know that, uh, you know, this is why, you know, we started with this show, Business 101, uh, because um, like you said, everything just kind of works hand in hand, yeah. especially at this time of COVID. And uh, you guys are wonderful. Like I said, we yeah. have what, almost um, 4,500, Yeah, in three weeks, we have about yeah. 4,500 uh, ladies. And we're definitely here to help empower you guys. We're definitely here to help lift you guys up and definitely 
definitely here, you know, just to help you guys just where we can. Right. So Yvette and I just thought, well, you know what? Let's get this series together. There's so much to talk about that, that you guys are asking for. And we want to make sure to deliver this to you guys. So you want to make double sure. Like I said, we know one thing. If all goes well, then this show will go on every Wednesday. Right. Um, it, it will be, um, if we can help it, it will be, you know, from 1 to 1.30. Yeah. We're going to try our best to make it at least a 20 minute segment right. with 10 minutes um, answering questions if you guys have any. Yeah, we're going to try and keep it, like I said, short and sweet so that you guys have the information condensed and saved. Um, and we're going to try and maintain that 1 to 1.30 every week. Like I said, it's just going to depend on our schedules. If I have something, she has something that we can't get out of. We will still bring you the information. It's just going to be, it may be at a different time depending on, you know, life. <laughs> <laughs> Life happens. Life happens, and we understand that. But that's the reason why we want to do this, too, so that way, like I said, you guys can access it at your own convenience. It, you know, everybody has different schedules. Sometimes people are late at night. I know I'm a late-at-night person, so that's usually when I try and catch up on the things that I've missed for the day when I've been caught up in work. I'm totally <laughs> late at night. I'm writing deals, and I'm, I'm writing yeah. it until that phone bops my head, and yeah. I'm like, what? I'm awake. I'm awake. Let me get this out. Exactly. But you know what? Thanks so much for coming in. Um, I told you, this goes like really fast. Super quick, guys. I, the time went really fast. <laughs> so thanks so much for coming in, and we'll definitely see you guys next week. Thank you. Thank you so much, Attorney no Yvette problem. Salinas. Happy to be here. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get events information. Like I said, we'll put it above, and we'll put it below for you guys. So totally share, share, share. You know, invite your friends and family. We still have a, a lot of um, information to get out yeah. to you guys through the weeks coming. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye, thanks, guys. Yvette. Bye, everybody. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me end it.